6,000 tons, I never even knew that there was that big a press that could be manufactured. Now what you're looking at is the front, the center, and the rear of the, what we would call the platform, the, car, the car's platform. That never was done before. No one's done this. This is amazing. Everyone has maybe toyed around a little bit, but nobody has ever come up with anything like this. I was blown away. And then the Cybertruck news. We'll need to order some more equipment to make the Cybertruck. That's what Elon said. Well, guess what? This is what it's looking at. An 8,000 ton mega casting, uh, sorry, mega press. That, that machine is absolutely huge, huge. 8,000 tons, nobody has ever even proposed such a thing. Hey, I'm Steven and this is Solving the Money Problem. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Boy, do I have a treat for you guys and girls today. We're hearing from the man, the myth, the legend himself, Sandy Munro. Watch this. We'll get to see Sandy Munro absolutely frothing over Tesla's genius engineering. He also reveals Tesla's 2021 battery cost per kilowatt hour and loses his mind over the enormous giga press and giga casting. So let's get into the video. And by the way, since I know there's a lot of crypto lovers watching and people who like free stuff, it's your lucky day. For a limited time, you can get up to $250 in free crypto bonuses when funding a new account on BlockFi, where you can use cryptocurrency to earn interest, borrow cash, and buy or sell crypto. If you want your free crypto, use the link in the description. It also helps out the channel. And if you'd like up to two free stocks, check out the link in the description to Weeble. If you open a new account, you'll get one free stock valued up to $250 just for opening an account. And if you fund your account with $100, you'll get a second free stock valued up to $1,600. Unless you don't like free stocks, that is. And if you're in Australia, the UK, or New Zealand, you can get a free stock with stake also using the link in the description. Let's get back to it. So I would like to start here at the beginning. And the beginning, basically, for mega castings is this baby right here. This is the original mega casting that came out inside the Model Y that we tore down, which was early in 2019. This was, as far as I was concerned, a dramatic step forward, but it was just the beginning. The mega casting on the Model Y had over, got rid of over 70 stamp parts off the Model 3. There were hundreds of fastening operations that they got rid of, a whole bunch of assembly steps, 14 stations, I believe, uh, complete with robots and complicated fixtures. That's one sixth of the whole Model 3 Tesla shop that disappeared when they went to this mega casting. That was sensational, but it was just the beginning. Okay, so a couple of things there. Obviously, Sandy Munro, very excited about this, but the final detail there, the too long didn't read, one sixth of the body shop gone just from this single innovation. Let's just take a moment to really let the implications of that sink in, okay? Tesla, applying their big brains to an engineering problem, have figured out a way, in one fell swoop, to eliminate about one-sixth of the body shop to produce this vehicle. One-sixth of the parts and processes, just roughly, okay? This is insane! And the best part, the crazy part, is that, as Sandy said, it's just the beginning. I mean, just imagine if Tesla can remove another sixth, and another sixth and suddenly they're producing vehicles for 30% cheaper than anybody else, then 40% cheaper, then 50% cheaper, because Tesla uses new materials, new techniques, etc., and just continues to innovate, drive their costs down, delete parts and processes. So the first thing you need to know is the guys who make the machine, the Giga Press, um, that would be IDRA. IDRA was founded in 1946. It's uh, well known in the industry as being a, a really good uh, supplier of very excellent machinery. They had to do some modifications in order to make the uh, mega casting work. They installed it at uh, the Tesla Fremont plant, plant and also in Shanghai. There's more coming, but those are the ones that they started off with. It's big and the aluminum alloy shot that it uses about 104 kilograms, which is about 231 pounds. This is a really sensational machine, but it was only the beginning. This is what the uh, material looks like. Um, many people have said many things. Most of them didn't do their own checking, but we did. A moment of low key savagery there from Sandy, just implying that there's many people who should have kept their mouth shut about this because they didn't know what the fuck they were talking about, but they still talked. Sandy Munro, Munro and Associates have actually done the homework and actually do know what they're talking about. So what we found was that this is an A386 
uh, material. 386 material is, um, is something that not too many people use. We found that there was extra ingredients in this that uh, made it so that it would be quite a bit better for, uh, for molding. And as uh, has been mentioned uh, several times, it takes milliseconds to fill up that mold. Then, six months ago, we got a little note from Mr. Musk saying, um, we'll be amazed to see this operation. And what he was talking about was not a single casting, but a double casting. A double casting that was shot on a next generation and the next generation of the Hydra Press. Unbelievable. This, getting rid of these two parts and all the little connecting parts that were in between it, that eliminated another 90% of the operations that had to be done in order to put this thing into place. Hold your fucking horses. A 90% reduction in the parts and processes involved in that rear section of the Model Y. A 90% reduction from this one single cast piece. No words. Let's just, I just, 90 fucking percent. And they're not done. That was, uh, that was then. 6,000 tons, I never even knew that there was that big a press that could be manufactured. Now what you're looking at is the front, the center, and the rear of the, what we would call the platform, the car, the car's platform. That never was done before. No one's done this. This is amazing. Everyone has maybe toyed around a little bit, but nobody has ever come up with anything like this. I was blown away. Sandy Munro, automotive engineering expert, is blown away. Do I need to say more? No, so I won't. And then the Cybertruck news. We'll need to order some more equipment to make the Cybertruck. That's what Elon said. Well, guess what? This is what it's looking at. An 8,000 ton mega casting. Uh, sorry, mega press. That, that machine is absolutely huge, huge. 8,000 tons, nobody has ever even proposed such a thing. Sandy Munro is losing his mind here, and I can understand why. The guy's having a massive nerdgasm, just engineer nerding out big time right now. I totally understand why. I mean, this thing is huge. Let's put 8,000 pounds into perspective. That probably weighs more than your mum and your girlfriend do combined. I mean, absolutely monstrous. This is just a beastly machine. And as Sandy said, it's so crazy that no one's even proposed this, let alone actually done it until now. I mean, this just gives you some insight into how out there this is. Nobody else in the automotive manufacturing space has even attempted this before, even proposed this before. And Tesla now are actually doing, executing, using these insane machines. It's going to be on the Cybertruck as well. It's just nuts. So let's have a look at what I think is the best, uh, best product out on the market today. And um, I'd like to thank uh, Fred Jessup for uh, sending us a couple of these things. This is uh, what the, the, the true 4680 battery looks like. Now this is a, a stereolithography model, but at the end of the day, these 3D models are, are quite, uh, quite handy for describing how things, how things are working or going to work in the future. This is what I think is probably going to be the world beater because, because of some of the different financial aspects of what's going on. So let's have a look at why I keep talking about Tesla. Why is it? And that's because the Tesla folks think ahead. They're looking at 10 terawatts of power by 2025. 10 terawatts of, and they did that in 2019. How in the world could they think that far ahead? I think it's because what they're looking at is the market in total, instead of looking at what's happening in my own little sandbox. The show me the money thing is kind of like what I like uh, to talk about. So Elon Musk said that, um, you know, his uh, product is gonna be work, working like a, like a, uh, a commercial truck. He's looking for a million mile life. He's got current bottle, uh, sorry, battery modules that last 300 to 500,000 miles. So we're looking at 1,500 cycles. And they're not talking anymore about re replacing modules. They're, they're, they're talking about, or sorry, the whole battery pack. They're talking about modifying modules a little bit, and that's gonna cost maybe five to $7,000 to keep your car on the road. So let's talk about what 
that's, that's Elon's talking. Let's talk about what Monroe had to say. In 2018, we calculated the price per kilowatt on the older Tesla Model 3 is about 132 bucks. In April of 2020, Monroe calculated the price per kilowatt hour on the Model Y. We analyzed it at about $92. Now we're a year later. Um, we've gone through and looked at the componentry and uh, the cost of the materials and stuff like that. And now we're looking at $83 per kilowatt hour. Bottom line, Monroe projects that the price per kilowatt hour when we get to 2025 is going to be around 50 bucks or less. So we saw earlier in this video about Tesla reducing the number of parts and processes, therefore the costs in terms of casting the rear of the Model Y, first one side, then both sides. Eventually that's now a rear, there's going to be a front casting and then also the battery casing or housing itself, keeping in mind there's not actually battery packs now, the cells go directly into the structure. So that structure, there's a top and bottom, plus there's a front and a back. You basically got four large cast pieces comprising most of the vehicle structure versus literally hundreds of parts and processes. This is insane. And now we're also looking at battery costs and seeing just from Munro's example there, in 2018, Tesla's battery cost around $132 per kilowatt hour according to Munro's teardowns. Just three years later, 2021, the cost $83 per kilowatt hour, about a 37% reduction, and they're expecting a similar reduction in costs over the next four to five years, up to 2025, looking at $50 per kilowatt hour or less. The battery is the most expensive component in the vehicle. If Tesla can continue to drive the cost down as they unveiled in their Planet Battery Invest today, this means the cost of their vehicles will continue to plummet, not only get to price parity with an internal combustion engine vehicle, but then far exceed that. This is why ARK Invest are expecting in around five years, give or take, that there could be an $18,000 Tesla available on the market because they can see where these cost declines lead to. Tesla's finding ways to save money and drive their costs down everywhere. The batteries, the actual manufacturing techniques and processes as well, ramping to scale. They're just brilliant. It's amazing to see and it's understandable why Sandy Munro is so excited. That doesn't leave a lot of space for somebody coming in at a price that could be astronomical because how many years have they been under development? How successful will they be? On and on and on. Smart money again is for my money for my money, is, uh, is what we're looking at with Tesla. Translation, good fucking luck competing with Tesla on battery costs or manufacturing costs. Yeah, this is a really awkward moment where I have to point out that Tesla's lead is unassailable. Sandy knows it. I know it. Nobody's catching them. And it's not just in terms of battery costs. It's not just in terms of software. It's not just in terms of manufacturing capabilities, manufacturing costs. It's not just in terms of factory construction speed. It's not just in terms of this, that, or the other. It's in terms of everything. It's insane. Tesla is literally winning on everything that matters, including, as we've seen in this video, on their costs to produce their vehicles and their technology. This is out of control. Sandy Munro really knows his stuff, and he's literally blown away, to use his own words, blown away by what Tesla are doing. What else is there to say? And if you've made it this far in the video, let me know in the comments below, what's your favorite example of Tesla's brilliant engineering? Maybe the Giga Casting, maybe the Octo Valve Heat Pump, who knows what it is? Let me know in the comments below. I'm Stephen Mark Ryan, this is Solving the Money Problem, and I love you all. And don't forget, if you'd like up to $250 in free crypto bonuses with BlockFi, use the link in the description. You can also get two free stocks with Weeble and a free stock with Stake, also linked in the description. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And of course, if you have any ideas for future videos, let me know. I read all your comments. P.S. If you're still watching, you're awesome. If you'd like early access, exclusive videos, regular Q&As, our private Discord server and more, consider supporting the channel at patreon.com slash solving the money problem so I can keep creating content for you guys. There's a link in the description. You can now also become a member of the channel for some exclusive perks. To learn more, click the join button next to subscribe. And don't don't forget to check out our merch store. Either way, the best form of support is you being here and watching, so thanks again.